So when I talk about gravity being the weakest of the fundamental forces, a lot of people say stuff like, oh, but gravity's range is infinite, or gravity can reach infinite scales, or something like that. Every other force also acts with infinite range and scale. Like, you know how we could see the cosmic microwave background? A snapshot from shortly after the Big Bang? That's electromagnetic energy from just after the Big Bang that is affecting us now. And, might I add, in a much more profound way than gravity right after the Big Bang. Because, like, we've mapped it. We found it by accident. That's how strong it was. And when people ask, do electromagnetism or the strong nuclear force have anything like black holes, like a, like a tipping point, a critical mass that creates something wild? Yes, it's called stuff. When the strong nuclear force reaches a critical mass, existence is created. Stuff is created. The subatomic particles that make up everything is created. Including black holes. You turn off the strong nuclear force, the black hole goes poof. And if we want to talk electromagnetic radiation, think about Hawking radiation. Black holes evaporate because they're constantly emitting particles. And guess what particles are emitted in Hawking radiation? Photons. And what are photons particles of? Light. The electromagnetic spectrum. So the reason why black holes evaporate is because of electromagnetism. So yeah, electromagnetism does have an extreme like a black hole. It's the thing that kills black holes.